Delta Y transformer connection and circulating currents and voltages. Part 2 will be dedicated to selecting parameters for our power system. These parameters are essential for drawing the sequence network diagrams and hand calculating short circuit current and voltage quantities. In Part 2A, we will be selecting the parameters for the synchronous generator. In Part 2B, we shall select parameters for the Delta Y transformer. If this video was helpful for you, please consider subscribing to GeneralPack.com. Our goal is to make power systems intuitive. Our corporate sponsor for this topic is Illumiax.com, from Seattle, Washington. Contact them for industrial and commercial power system studies like short circuit, coordination, and arc flash studies. Illumiax.com also performs advanced studies like power quality, motor starting, grounding grid, reliability, transient stability, and snubber circuit studies. Visit Illumiax.com for these power system studies. Suppose we have a power source that has a three-phase short circuit rating of 600 MVA. The fundamental equation of short circuit is essentially voltage divided by impedance. In Lewis Blackburn's book, Appendix 4.1 is dedicated to exactly this. The MVA short circuit is equal to the three-phase fault current MVA, which is equal to the square root of 3, times the three-phase current, times the base voltage. We shall select the base voltage to equal 115 kilovolts since the synchronous generator is connected to the 115 kilovolts bus. Because we are provided with the short circuit MVA, let us rearrange this equation and solve for the current. The three phase short circuit current equals 3012.26 amps. We can now calculate the impedance value by dividing the voltage over the current times the square root of 3. The square root of 3 must be accounted for, because it converts the voltage to a line to ground quantity, from the given 115 kilovolts line to line quantity. The impedance value is calculated as 22.04 ohms. Hand calculated short circuit currents are best performed in the per unit system. So let us select the base units. We have already selected the base for the voltage which is 115 kilovolts. Let us strategically select a power base of 30 MVA. This strategy will be explained when we calculate the transformer impedance. Please also note, in many books, articles, and modeling software, the power base is almost always selected as 100 MVA. But we have selected 30 MVA for our power base. Now let us convert the 22.04 ohms to a per unit base. The impedance base is simply the base voltage squared divided by the power base. To convert the impedance value to a per unit value, we simply divide the given impedance by the impedance base, which now equals 0.05. The per unit system is unitless. This parameter can be considered as the synchronous impedance of the generator. For simplification purposes, we shall only consider the synchronous impedance. To drive this point further, we shall set the transient and subtransient impedances to equal 0.05 per unit as well. Furthermore, we shall set this impedance to be purely reactive, which means there will be no real component to the per unit impedance quantity. All of the equations in this example can be found in many books and online references. They are also explained in Appendix 4.1 in Blackburn's book. In Part 2b, we shall calculate the impedance values for the delta Y transformer, and explain why we selected the 30 MVA power base. We hope you have a continued interest in this topic and series as a student or professional. We also hope you find this content useful and enlightening. Please consider subscribing to GeneralPack.com. Making Power Systems Intuitive.